Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I am concentrating mainly on the kitchen. I had a question for you about the intros on all my videos because I tend to just start off the video straight away and I was wondering how people preferred the videos because other, other videos that I've watched have got intros where it's showing you a few of the things that they're doing through the video and I've seen others that have someone talking about the introduction before the actual visit video starts of them cleaning. So I just wanted to know your views and what you preferred at the beginning. So make sure to comment that below and let me know if I need to maybe mix it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm washing my pots first. This always tends to be the biggest job, so I always do this job first to just get it out of the way. For washing my pots I just use fairy liquid because I find it works best and I haven't found anything else that really works quite as good apart from I have used the Aldi brand which is really good. So when I have time I do like to dry all my pots because the t kitchen looks much tidier without the pots, all the dishes and everything sat around so I like to try and dry them and clear them up although sometimes if I've not got time or if I'm just not in the mood I will leave them there to air dry. At the end of this video I do end up changing my outfit because I'm dressed to go out and do somebody's hair today and when I get back it's it's better with the um, with the pandemic and the COVID-19 to go and change my clothes and make sure I'm nice and clean and fresh. So it's taken me a while to get my cupboards organised into a way that I like it but I try to keep all of all of my pans and pots and plates and dishes and things close to the sink so that I can easily put them away without having to walk around the kitchen constantly. For my sink I am using the pink stuff, I've been watching other videos and other people had suggested it so I found it recently and I absolutely love it on my sink. I didn't realise how dirty my sink was until I started using the pink stuff and now I feel like my sink is so shiny and, and clean. I also really like using it because it smells like candy.
So I'm cleaning around my microwave a bit more today because my shelf actually fell off the wall. I don't know why, because I hadn't put anything different on it, it wasn't heavier things that were on it, it just decided it was going to fall after like over, over a year or so of being on the wall. So you can tell when I pull my microwave out that there's lots of kind of dust. This has made it a little bit awkward because I've got to find new places to put all the things that were on the shelf. I just don't want to put the shelf back there in case it happens again. I clean my surfaces with Co cleaning spray, although I think I'm going to change this up soon and use a more in, and use a homemade cleaning spray just because Co is a little bit expensive. It costs £15 for 4 litres, which isn't too bad, but when you come to buying find this it's kind of the upfront cost of having to pay that much money that's making me struggle a little bit. I'm going to switch it up to a homemade vinegar recipe with some essential oils in because this is going to be cheaper and it will last a lot longer. So I don't clean my fridge that often but I just thought today that it could do with a bit of a clean because the handles had lots of fingerprints on them and it didn't look quite that great. For the upcoming videos I'm making a little laundry corner where I'm sat and I'm very very excited about it. So I tend to try and make sure I fold my laundry and put it away in the bedrooms each day. It doesn't always happen. I actually really enjoy folding laundry and sorting all the laundry out. I feel like it's quite therapeutic. The only thing that really irritates me at the minute is my kids keep coming in and out and kicking the laundry all over the place. I try to keep my vacuum in till the last thing that I do because obviously all the dust and all the muck will fall off the surfaces onto the floor and so I don't want to have to be going back over it again.
So when I've done all my spray mopping, quite often, quite often it hits the bottom of the of the cupboard. So I thought today I'd go through and try and clean all the edges a little bit better because the mop doesn't always get it up, and neither does the Hoover. And I'm just I'm just going over over all the cupboard doors a little bit today as well, so that. It, it gets rid of all the fingerprints that have been left there for a while. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and then it will help you also find me a little easier next time you want to watch any videos that I do. If you click the if you click the bell button then that will also notify you of any new videos that I upload and I upload every upload videos every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at the moment. Fridays I'm trying to keep as my sewing video days and then depending on what I'm up to uh, Wednesday and Sunday the videos change a little bit but I, I make sure to do at least one cleaning video every week as a minimum. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope that you will come back soon. Bye!